Hey everyone, today we will take a look at 5 simple tools for surface geometry editing using Hypermesh. Geometry cleanup is a crucial part of any simulation in which we simplify our geometry to make it suitable for meshing. When we talk about surface geometry cleanup, there are 5 main tools in Hypermesh. These include mid surface extraction, splitting and unsplitting surfaces, surface extend, surface trim, and toggle surface edges. Rather than using these 5 tools on different surface geometries, we will take a look at an integrated example. Consider a tubular space frame. Such a type of geometry is commonly found in automobile chassis, roll cages, and many civil and mechanical structures. Let's take a look at the actual geometry cleanup process. Let's start with a simple geometry having a perpendicular joint between two hollow structural members. The first step is to extract the mid surface. With the drop down on auto mid surface, switch to incomplete solid. Now select all the surfaces in our model and extract the mid surface. It is clear that auto mid surfacing was unable to extract all the mid surfaces. Now we need to use the final edit tools to manually select surface pairs for mid surface extraction. We can delete the original component as we will only be using the mid surface for meshing and further analysis setup. There is a specific process to join these surfaces. Let's start by splitting the upper section using the quick edit panel. Now we will delete the unwanted surfaces which are intersecting the lower section. To extend the surfaces, Open the surface edit panel by pressing shift F9. With radio button on extend, toggle to extend over edges. Enter an appropriate value. Now select the circular free edges and extend the surface. Now we need to trim these intersecting surfaces to delete any unwanted parts. In the trim surfaces with surfaces or planes section, Select proper surfaces in the selection box. Don't forget to check the trim both checkbox. Now we can easily delete the extra surface part. Open the mask panel by pressing F5. Select all the surfaces visible from outside and mask them. Do not use the box select as it will also select the internal extra surfaces. We will delete these unwanted extra surfaces. After unmasking all surfaces, we can clearly see that the mid surfaces are now properly connected. To simplify the geometry, we can now unsplit smaller surfaces so that a proper mesh flow can be achieved while meshing. Now the geometry is well connected and ready to be meshed. This part was comparatively easy. Now we will use the same process on a complex part in which there are multiple tubes intersecting at a common point. For this geometry, the process we will be using is exactly the same. Rather than editing all the surfaces simultaneously, we will try to join one section at a time. As we did for the previous part, the first step is to extract the mid surfaces. If all the surface pairs are not properly visible, we can mask certain sections of our geometry and isolate them for editing. By unmasking all surfaces, we can check which mid surfaces are yet to be extracted. Then we can isolate and work on these sections independently.
let's delete the original component to avoid confusion during geometry editing. We will keep this vertical section connected and trim the other three surface pairs to join them at the intersection. Split the surface pairs to delete the unwanted intersecting parts. Let's start with this section. With a proper value, extend the surfaces over edges so that they intersect with the vertical joint. Now trim all the surfaces. This may take some time depending upon the complexity and the number of surfaces to be trimmed. Delete the unwanted parts. Mask all the visible surfaces and delete the internal unwanted surfaces. Now unmask all the surfaces and use the unsplit tool from quick edit panel to simplify the geometry. By following these same steps for all other surface pairs, we can properly join all our structural members at this intersection. The key is to trim and delete the proper surfaces and get rid of unwanted parts which are not visible from the outside. The process is a bit monotonous but when coupled with other features like reflect and duplicate, we can easily edit complex geometries within a few minutes. It is critical to connect all the surfaces properly in order to get a well connected and enclosed mesh for any simulation. The tools we used for surface editing in this example are not just restricted to hollow circular surfaces. We can use the trim, extend, split and unsplit tools for any type of surface editing to simplify our geometry. And this is how we can perform surface geometry editing by using just 5 simple tools in Hypermesh. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Please give a big thumbs up, it helps a lot. If you think I missed out on any particular surface cleanup tool, feel free to mention it below in the comments. I will surely include it in one of my upcoming videos.